Hi Taurus, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Taurus, I will do, uh, it will be a general reading, but I, I did a love reading last week that's, that's um, covered uh, for over two weeks now. And then today I'm starting to do like, my intention for this reading is to ask the universe what you guys need to hear most right now. Like where are you at? And then see what source brings through um, as an answer. And uh, that will also be covered over uh, two weeks. So from today, which is the um, 4th of November till the 17th of November is going to be your reading for today. And there won't be extended, mainly because I'm going to focus more on private readings and I just don't have time to be, to do, to be doing both. Uh, so there will be extended only for the love readings because then... Um, it's what, where your person's at, like how your person views you. And um, then for these readings, it will only be here on YouTube. So if you're interested in private readings, I will, I will write something about it. I will put it in the description box. Um, I haven't done it as I'm saying this. I haven't done it yet. So I'm not quite 100% sure about how I'm going to how I'm going to offer this without getting taking too much on. Um, so <laughs> let's see what I've put in the description box for you guys. Maybe nothing. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm taking three cards out. It gives me a bit of a story. And let's see if you guys need more cards after I've done these. Wow. She yelled. Uh, first card out is vacation. I also call this my magical carpet ride. Second card is my Phoenix rising, which is perfect for this Scorpio season. The Scorpio season is still going on. So there's a lot of depth, a lot of transformation. And then we have Archangel Raphael. So immediately I feel um, what comes out of this is you are, you are really setting a new tone for your life really expecting something brand new um with the pot of pot, with the pot of flies with the butterflies there on the bottom it just speaks for a lot of transformation and there's a lot of people going through a lot of transformation right now huge transformation but i feel like you have put like a specific uh, and take this however it applies in your life since it, since it, since it's general um it feels like you have almost written down like this is what i want this is this is what i feel should happen this is my wishes it feels like you really has have taken control in a different way lately and you really are like putting it's not like you just wake up you have your life you fall asleep and then it all starts over again i feel like you either wrote it down or you have put a specific there's a specific wanting for you, a specific goal that you have in mind right now. And you are on your way to that goal, on your way to that experience, if that makes sense. Um, and I just feel like for you guys who don't enjoy the ride there, this is, this is a reminder. This is the magical corporate ride. It's like, um, as you're, if you're, if you're traveling somewhere, Take notice on, on what you're seeing. Like, don't put your nose in your phone. I'm being metaphoric here, but maybe that's real as well. But like for life, don't like look up and have fun on your way to your goal. Whatever, whatever goal you've set here, the goal you've set, of course, you should have your goal. Of course, you should reach your like end station. Um, and get the result that you're seeking. I just feel like the reason you, you chose that goal or that result is because you may be not aware that that specific goal was going to lead to this sort of per personal transformation. But I feel like sometimes we think I'm going to go there. I want to move there. I want to see this person. I'm going to have this for a job right now. I feel inspired to do this. And, and you think you just have the idea to do that specific thing and sort of get get to the specific specific thing as soon as possible. But I feel like we're getting inspired to to set set out on a certain path 
to try to reach this goal because somewhere on some level we know that the the path leading there will bring us what we most needed so it wasn't the actual end result that you're seeking even though you will get your end result um, it's what you discover about yourself on the way there if that makes sense and you are this is a magical carpet ride so the it's like it, there's something magical going on in your life right now where you discover more and more about yourself. You discover, you discover truly who you are and truly, and truly what you want is what I feel. And, and in, in saying that, it feels like because you are discovering what you truly want, you probably recently have discovered what you truly don't want. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then with it, it just in, reinforces that because with the Phoenix rising, I mean, the Phoenix rising is Scorpio in itself, but um, the Phoenix rising just talks about how you really have come out of something or that you are on your way to just rising above and like soaring, whatever, whatever it has. It feels like you already are out, out of it. So when something when something is bad and the bad stuff is happening, it feels like that's all you're thinking about. That's your, like, it just revolves around that thing over and over and over again. But the minute that you're out of it, it's like in two days past and it's like somebody asks you about the thing that was really hard and you're almost like, what, what, what was that? And you maybe have struggled with it for two months or two years or something like that. But because it's so natural to feel good, it's so natural to, um, maybe not normal, but it's very natural to have a good life, to feel well, uh, to have prosperity, like that's your natural birthright. And because it's, it's so, what is the most, like that's the order of the universe, that's the, like how it should be and you're in it. It almost feels like whatever you came out from, the thing you came out from is almost a goner. It's almost like, what was that that I was struggling with? So I think for some Tauruses, there's going to be, some of you guys are going to, you're still in it and it's going to feel like I just said, In you just wait and see. In a, such a short time, you will have come out of it and you will almost wonder what it was that you were struggling with if somebody asks you you will almost have to look for it um and for you guys who have already come out of it congratulations i feel like i like look at this energy you're just blooming and soaring and flying and feeling free and there's a lot of butterflies there so you have gone through some sort of transformation you probably are still going through some sort of transformation and it feels almost like you're shifting from uh, a caterpillar into a butterfly like from a lot of in swedish into a butterfly so it's that big of a change you, you you almost won't recognize yourself that's what it feels like and it's this epiphany on the bottom so there might be some insights there might be some understandings there might be and it might not like an epiphany is something that like oh right i just came came to think of that thing and that shifted everything even though it says epiphany i feel like it's more the details it's more like one thing and one thing and one thing and it's like ah oh, yeah like <laughs> there's something there that that it makes sense now and it, like piece by piece you're just putting it together and it will yield so much freedom there's so much birds there it just will yield so much freedom to you guys and whatever, whatever hardship that you're going through right now, whatever, whatever you need to leave behind, like I said, you, you truly know what you want. And therefore, I know for a fact that you truly know what you don't want. And so coming from what you truly know that you don't want, Archangel Raphael comes in to say, give it to me. I'll, I'll handle it. I'll hel handle the heavier thoughts, the heavier emotions, the heavier physical body. Um, just anything that has sort of taken its toll on you over the time that it's been a bit tough and maybe it still is give it to the angels like literally if you want to write it down and say for for Raphael 
and then list what you want what you want gone from your life or list what you want help with like to sort this out and then not to focus on it but rather if you want rip the paper apart and sort of I'm not heavily into putting focus on what you want gone because focusing on it only makes it stay what you resist persist maybe you know that expression um and what you focus on will expand so it doesn't matter wh- whether you want to like be gone with it or or want it to stay if you focus on it it's going to stay but rather than just having it tumbling around in your body and you sort of really don't know why it's a bit mm, a bit ick feeling in your body rather put it down on the piece of paper just to remove it from yourself and then just rip it up and let it go um because i feel the heavy stuff you're so over and done and it's it's oh sorry it's like you don't have to revisit anything that you have left behind because the leaving behind part is already so done and the leaving behind part has made you ask for so much more and that's where we want to focus now and that's what the cards are saying you're on a magical carpet ride this is not is not i mean there's something in the back here you're leaving some clouds in the back here there are there are a bit darker clouds like but here and forward it's just sunshine we're moving towards the sunshine and leaving the dark skies and the cloud the worrisome clouds behind and just like just moving forward so you're on such a good path and so if if the yucky stuff comes up it really is for you not to revisit that it just comes up as a as a what just to maybe spark a bit more what it is that you truly want but not for you to engage in again or you know things like that let's see what else we can get for the Taurus about this situation and like this can be anything it can be leaving a relationship behind moving into a new one that feels really really good leaving an old job behind leaving old friends leaving bad finances uh, a tired body a sick body whatever that is that you sort of put like that's so in the past every once in a while that might come as a reminder it doesn't mean that it's going to come back it doesn't mean that you have chosen it again um it just means that some of it are sometimes activated and do the best you can then not to look at it yeah so um i just feel so strong right around you right now taurus it's like a um you come to full understanding almost like who, i feel like it's a rare few people on this earth that really knows themselves that really has no filter has no agenda has no um like masks on but just being fully themselves at whatever like whether you're with your partner or or your parents or your i don't know we don't have that all that much in sweden but maybe your pastor in in the americas uh your doctor like whoever you're meeting you're just the same unfiltered person it takes it takes quite the person to be that and i feel towards like a lot of you t- that i'm connect- connecting with um truly has started to become yourself there you just radiating this beautiful energy and you are on this magical carpet ride you move forward towards something that y- it is very clear to you what you want in this moment in time and just like look at this energy just stay there as much as you can it's, it's a very powerful single energy it's it's a it's a, a feeling of i it's a feeling of i don't need anybody else i don't need anybody else in order to make me happy and therefore you probably feel more connected to the people around you that than you've done in a long time if if that's family you probably feel very connected to your family if that's friends you probably feel more connected to your friends uh because you can do just as well without them if that makes sense um 
and here comes this and it comes under so it's beautiful it, it first was my phoenix rising and underneath it comes almost my second phoenix rising it's just different movement and it just shows again that you're moving out from something you're coming out from a stale situation a quite stagnant situation and you're moving in to warmer warmer degrees it can be relocating to somewhere warmer it can be um moving into warmer thoughts like more positive thoughts about yourself about a situation uh moving into better finances healthier body things like that to to warmer climate um and it says on the on the bot bottom moving forward uh get ready for positive change so there's something really really good happening in your life and and the forward movement i feel is really really strong like the momentum has really picked up um and i'm always drawn to talk about like she looks a bit like um the um, statue of liberty uh in new york so maybe new york is of um importance to you uh or just the fact that she speaks a lot about freedom like the statue of liberty is just all about freedom and how you take your like your power back it's very similar to this energy you just know who you are you just you know there's sort of no question really it just it doesn't mean that everything is put in its place and like i i now have my paradise i'm living my paradise i have exactly everything i want to have i am everything i want to be but you're definitely getting there like this energy is just really really gorgeous and you are so on your way there and this is this is and it will be my end card this is like it shows what you move out from in the past um it feels more like a choice but it's like you're already chosen so my little lizard that has i always <laughs> i'm very um the lizard has gotten a bad name that's for sure so the lizard stands a bit for a sleaze bag it stands for negative energy it stands for um, what maybe is not so good in your life it can also stand for your own negative thoughts um and then we have a little gorgeous troll that just holds out crystals and invites you to sort of uh, taste more of the good stuff in life the the high high vibration of crystals just like a crystal um cave behind him uh and then i don't know if you see that because it sort of blends into the card but there's a huge gorgeous angel behind you and i feel like this is you just sitting here in the creek sitting here in emotion and see how little negative energy that is left compared to all of this positive energy and so this is the shift i feel this is what you've decided and it's like you can even look at like you can even see that the negative stuff arises again it's there you can look at it but nothing happens it's like yeah i can even have an, a shitty morning and you know because of the positive momentum that has picked up not feeling it that nothing shifts and so and it's so gorgeous to be like if you've before struggled a lot and and it felt like you had glimpses of the positive like it was you continuous continuously needed to work on something needed to worry about something needed to uh, evolve or fix something uh and then every now and then you would get a glimpse of of the gorgeous life it feels like it has started to shift like the gorgeous life is 80 percent and every now and then you get a glimpse of the negative so it doesn't mean that the negative is going to take over because it has such little power and little room and, and like place and space in your life these days so you can even have like i said a shitty morning and the momentum is still so strong and the positive that it doesn't matter you are on the magical carpet ride taurus and in you truly are headed for better waters better climate uh if that makes sense okay guys i hope this helps i hope it resonates with some of you guys and uplifts you and uh, take that with you for the next two weeks and i see you next week for your love readings take care guys bye